ducks or what? Thank you, Gordon. Yes, it is Duck Week here on the channel. The movie starts with Gordon Bombay, a.k.a. Emilio Estevez, as a peewee hockey player who gets a penalty shot to win the game. Fortunately, Gordon hits the goalposts and they go to overtime and lose the game. This is important because he played for the Pee Wee Hawks and his coach is the same coach of the Pee Wee Hawks when he gets to be the coach. But I get ahead of myself because he starts out as a hotshot lawyer who doesn't like hockey and isn't too fond of kids either. But he gets caught up in a DUI where he has to face the lawyer that he beat previously and the lawyer holds a grudge because he thinks that he should have won the case and Gordon was like really indifferent to him. So when he got put up for the DUI, he's got to go for the W, Gordo, right? And so Gordon is in the office all night studying and he basically says he found a loophole, but his boss says, no, I got you community service, where he ends up coaching District 5, where we're introduced to Charlie Conway, Averman, the Halls, and the rest of the team, and not to forget Goldberg, the goalie. Yes, that's right. And they don't even have proper equipment. They're, they they can't afford rink time. They're practicing outside. And there's even a scene where... Goldberg is talking to Charlie as they're firing pucks at him. And he's like, Goldberg, you're the goalie. It's supposed to hit you. And Goldberg's, does that sound stupid to anybody else but me? So it's just a ragtag group of kids. And they, Gordon arrives on the ice in a limo. And the kids basically hijack their way inside, telling him they want to ride. And so he does it, but the Charlie's mom comes out and says, why were they out on the ice? What if it fell through? And Gordon says, I know when it's safe to drive on. And the mom goes, I just know doesn't cut it. So his first game is against the Hawks, which is why it, the beginning prologue was so important. They lose like 17 to nothing. And Charlie has a breakaway, but he completely air, air mails the puck because he misses the whole thing and so the game ends 17 nothing. and to give you a, a peek at coach Riley's philosophy he says we should have beat these guys by twice as much because it's not worth winning if you don't win big and Gordon he's frustrated and he's given his team the business and so he decides that it's going to come down to an opportunity where he's going to try and cheat them to win. <laughs> there's the scene, there's a montage where he's literally teaching the team how to fall. It's quite hilarious. And in the next game, they're falling on purpose. And there's a scene where Charlie's backed up in the corner and Gordon tells him to grab his eye like it's cut and go down. And Charlie refused to do it. And, of course, their losing ways continue. And then they're introducing a new character named Hans, who runs a skate shop. And he is Gordon's closest friend. And he gives Gordon a pair of socks. And then he, or not a pair of socks, sorry, a pair of skates. And he's nine. I thought those would be your size. And he's like, yeah, I'm a nine and a half. And he's like, wear thick socks. So then he goes to his lawyer for lawyer boss and says, these kids need a sponsor. They don't have proper equipment. And his boss originally tells him no until he's like, think about the goodwill. Get your jersey with your name on it. And of course, when you stroke somebody's ego, they generally give you what you want if they can afford to. And he basically spends $15,000. And Gordon has to convince these kids to be ducks because they think ducks are wimpy and he'd, he's, he'd rather be district five and so he actually starts practicing with them and one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie is after he practices with the skaters he practices with Goldberg and he ties him to the post and he says 
Robert, do you trust me? And I, he's, I think my mom would like me to live to my bar mitzvah. And he says, Goldberg, this is your bar mitzvah. And he's ready, aim, fire, and they fire pucks. And he's like, and Goldberg gets hit with so many with all the cracked pads on. And he's laughing. But the funny thing is Gordon takes the team out and Goldberg is like still tied to the post and they basically forget about him. That's one of the gags. And so what ends up happening is the Ducks in their first game back without being labeled District 5 get a tie. And this is important because Hans, for some reason, maybe just to fit, fit the plot of the movie, has a standings board in his office. And he says, one of the teams forfeited the whole season, so the Ducks still have a chance to make the playoffs. And then there's a scene where Coach Riley and Bombay are talking, and he's like, man, I wish they'd take that one down. Pointing to the second place Pee Wee trophy or banner. And he said, don't you? And then the Ducks keep winning for a bit. And then just as the season's kind of coming to a close, there's another conversation where Bombay is being sarcastic with Riley, where he calls the team a bunch of losers and they don't deserve to live. And they overhear this and they take it the wrong way. Meanwhile, the best player on the Hawks is named Adam Banks. And he, there is a snafu where he's playing for the wrong team. He should have been on the Ducks the whole time. And if you're enjoying this review, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll leave a subscription link at the bottom of this video in the description. And uh, yeah. So back to the review. Adam is about to be suspended because he's not supposed to play for the Hawks. And he just loves hockey. And his dad is friends with Bombay's former employer. Who basically sets up a meeting with Riley, the kid's father, and himself. And Ducksworth is telling Bombay to let Adam play for the Hawks. And if he withdraws the protest, then he can come back to work. He doesn't have to coach the team anymore. And Bombay's, but you taught me, you wanted me to learn about fair play. And that's what I did. And this isn't fair. So I'm not dropping the protest. And then the dramatic scene of, are you prepared to lose your job over some kids, some game? And then Bombay says, are you prepared to fire me over some kids, some game? There's the real cheesy moment where he's like, you may own this jersey, sir, but you didn't earn it. And so Adam then goes to play for the Ducks because he just wants to play hockey. And, of course, you get the montage of the Ducks making their way through the playoffs. And, of course, they end up playing the Hawks in the final game with the standard, we're going to stand across from each other and do the stare down because it's Pee Wee Hockey. Why wouldn't you do that? And the Hawks are dominating. They go up 2 nothing relatively early. And Adam scores a goal, but one of his former Hawk teammates pushes him shoulder first into the goalie posts, taking him out of the game. And Adam and Jesse have this moment where they're like, kick some Hawk butt, and you got it, cake eater. It's a great movie. Anybody who hasn't seen it, it's on Disney+. Plus. Again, not sponsored, just throwing it out there. And so the Ducks are battling the Hawks and Bombay doesn't want them to sink to the Hawks level, even though the Ducks want revenge. So he tells them to get it back on the power play, which they do. And then <laughs> when the game is tied in the third period, you get the final dramatic, two final dramatic scenes, actually. The first one being Bombay going to Riley and saying to think. All them years, I worried about what you thought, and I wasted all this time. You're going down, Riley. And the second one is, much like in the beginning of the movie, Conway's on a breakaway. And this time he gets hauled down by the Hawks. It's a tie game. Anyone on the ice can take it. And he picks Charlie, and Charlie doesn't want to do it. And then he's like, Charlie, who thought we'd be here? Look at where we started. Look where we came from. And so Charlie takes it. 
He triple deeks the goaltender. The Ducks win. That's the end of the movie. It's a great family film. I'd consider it a classic. And again, thank you very much for stopping by. And until next time, I'm Mo Money, and you've been at the movies. Be sure to smash our like button and subscribe to our channel.